that little lightning bolt has got to mean there's not enough power going to the walk-in cooler, which means all of this meat is going to spoil, including Haxton. So if we could... Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more RimWorld, where I have things very firmly on pause because I don't even know what's going on anymore. Last time in RimWorld, things... things happened. Decisions were made. Events happened. So here's here's the thing for those who may not have been caught up on our little RimWorld colony here, our happy little band of adventurers. So we, we made a decision to try and tame a bear. That may have been a poor command decision on my part, but we did it nonetheless, and, and Robot, who I only just found out was a woman, seemed awfully keen on taming the bear and kept trying to do it, and then... Then the bear happened, and the bear bear didn't want to be tamed, and the bear has killed Robot, the bear has killed Haxton, the bear has killed the dog, and then Sam killed the bear, but Sam is horribly wounded. Sam, by the way, just in case anyone's not caught up, is wearing a bowler hat made of human skin, and is lying in bed recovering from the hideous, hideous wounds that she has suffered, and then this guy turned up. Then Fitz turned up, and I, I don't know from where, I don't know who Fitz is. He's put Sam to bed, well at least I'm assuming it's a he, we had that mistake with Robot for a couple of episodes, but he's put Sam to bed and is treating her wounds, of which they are numerous. Uh, S Sam is just all kinds of banged up here. Right eye, left eye, torso, shoulder, arm, leg, and uh, just put salt in the wound. She's got food poisoning. So Sam ain't doing so hot, but Fitz seems to be taking care of her. Fitz, who is apparently a caravaneer, a male man in black with a gun, he's armed, um, he sort of swooped in as the mysterious stranger to save the day. The, the bear carcass is gone, I don't know where that went. The dog is dead, Robot is dead, Haxton is dead, Sam is injured, Fitz is dealing with everything. I don't know what the hell is going on in this game anymore. Let's start with some fundamentals today. Who are you? Who? What is your deal? What? What's your deal, Fitz? Okay, you are a caravaneer. We got that. You got a decent shooting skill. That's pretty good. Oh, you got a mining skill. Only one, but that's better than everyone else. Well, all the people who are left alive, anyway. You're wicked social. I should have had you tame the bear. All right, well, you're wicked social. You've, you've got sort of broad-based okay skills. You have no plant skills. That's a little fussy because the final thing on the let's get caught up recap is the potatoes are finally ready for harvest. And we have no one to do that because apparently Fitz can't do that. And Sam, um, Sam may need some time in bed. I don't even know what to do with RimWorld anymore. <laughs> this game is insane. Our wind turbine is up. That, that's working. Yay. Yay. Okay, let's actually move time on as much as I dare to at this point. Okay, Fitz is taking a nap. You know what, Fitz? That's fair. That's fair. Take a nap. Because um, you have swooped in and saved the day and hopefully saved Sam's life. I hope Sam can recover from all of this. She's got a lot going on now. Extreme pain. Can't really move or eat or talk. Oh, it's it's not so good with Sam. And, and Sam, the whole colony was leaning on Sam more now than ever. But um, Sam's wicked banged up. And, and Fitz has just decided he lives here now. He's even taken ownership of a bed. I didn't give him that bed. That was, I think, Haxton's room. Well, Haxton's long dead. Speaking of which, um, uh, we should... We should do the, you know, the, the things that we need to do, like dig graves for these people. Um, where, where, you know what, this is going to come up again in the future. We should plan out where the graveyard is going to be, because this is going to happen again. I think, in honor of Robot and Haxton, the graves should be up by the potato fields. So let's put a grave there and a grave there. They can live up by the potato fields. Well, they can not exactly live up by the potato fields, but they can be interred up by the potato fields. All right, well, it's nap time. Let's uh, speed this along and figure out what the heck is going to happen tomorrow. Well, Fitz is up bright and early having a snack. I... 
I want to queue up some more things we need to do, but it's all fits at this point. Are you now taking that meal to Sam? Please say yes. And watch out for the boom rat, by the way. The boom rat lives over there. And, and well, the hint is in the title, Fitz. He goes boom. Apparently, he belongs to us. He's the only other survivor of the Great Bear Massacre, as we will now call it. Um, probably don't go taming bears in the future. But yes, he's the only other survivor of the Great Bear Massacre. So, um, you know, honor and respect that if you could, Fitz. And P.S., if you actually, you know, now that you work here, if you wanted to get started digging those graves, that'd be cool. I'd actually like to get Robot and Haxton in the ground. Oh, no, you're going to start cooking. Okay, that's fair. Well, boy, aren't you productive, Fitz. You're making things. That's good. What do I have actually queued up on this? Is it just make a million of these? Yeah, pretty much, more or less. All right, good enough. Well, um, off you go, Sam, uh, Fitz, rather. Off you go, Fitz. You're, you're going to keep cooking, are you? Okay, uh, colonist needs treatment. Wait, Fitz needs treatment? Why does Fitz need treatment? What's your problem? You just showed up. What's your deal? What's your health issue? Oh, you have malaria. Well, super. That's just super. You have malaria. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A friendly AI from your past. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its coordinates. Starship is deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up, then defend it from raiders. If you can get off the ship off the ground... Charlin will take you off this rim world. Um, Charlin, that, that's great, first of all. Thank you. Um, I appreciate the message. We've got some other things going on right now, Charlin. We've got some other things that are happening, like, you know, Fitz, who is the only person who can walk, has malaria. And Sam is horribly banged up, and there's nobody left to dig graves for Robot and Haxton. I appreciate the message about the ship. I don't think we're going to make the journey, truth be told. What I should do is make sure that Fitz can do that self-tending thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, self-tend yourself, Fitz. Get, get rid of that malaria. It's minor malaria, but malaria nonetheless. I think any kind of malaria is not good malaria. I had that problem with Haxton for ages. I didn't have self-tending set. So, you know, Haxton spent all day in bed for the first few days of this colony. So, yeah, Fitz, um, he, he, physician heal thyself, basically. And then hopefully we can deal with all of these issues that are over here. Um, like the medical emergency of Sam and Sam needs warm clothes. And, and you have malaria, and apparently we still need batteries. Oh, good. Uh, Fitz's problem appears to be alleviated. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're, you're fine right now. You're doing things. Uh, I notice you're just stargazing, Fitz. Fitz, maybe you haven't talked to Sam, but we have things we need to do. So if you could actually prioritize the graves, I'd really appreciate that. I would wicked appreciate that. I think you have to cut down that tree first. But uh, yeah, go ahead and get on that. And we should harvest the potatoes. Fitz, how many tasks can you handle today? And can the boom rat handle the potato harvest? Probably not. Probably not. All right, get on that, Fitz. And then I'm going to have you bury our corpses here. And oh, should I? I should probably dig a grave for the dog too, right? That seems sensible. Oh, goodness, it's all gone horribly, horribly wrong around here. Well, he got one grave dug and chopped down that tree in the process, which is nice, but now he's gone back to bed, probably because of the whole malaria thing. I'm not wholly surprised by that. I, I feel this is going to be a long process to get these bodies buried. I feel Fitz is going to be constantly napping. Um, Sam, are you doing any better? Not really. Major food poisoning. Major food poisoning. I should put self-tending on you. Oh, I can't. You're, you're just basically out for the count. Right, no moving. All right, so self-tending doesn't even work on you. Okay, well, let's just get it moving faster, and when Fitz gets out of bed, he can keep limping this colony along. Well, Fitz is continuing to care for Sam, which is really good. At least Sam is eating, and oh, Fitz is, Fitz is back in bed. Fitz is back in bed. Okay, well, you got up to feed Sam. I actually do appreciate that, but... I, this this may be a long process here, because ain't nobody healthy. Hey, if any other mysterious strangers want to just hop in and join the colony who are actually healthy and productive, I'm totally okay with that, because the boom rat is just not contributing, and we're never going to get these potatoes out of the ground, and oh my god, there's blood everywhere. Everywhere! 
Oh, we need a cleaning crew around here. Oh god, now what? Uh, hang on, hang on. Slow it down, slow it down. Now what? Um, I'm Malaria, I know about. The Man in Black, I know about. I know definitely about Robot, the dog, and Haxton being dead. Oh, cargo pods. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's let's jump to that location. Is that is that a thing we need? I mean, it sounds like a thing we need. What what's in here? Uranium. Dear God, man, I I, I I'm just trying to not die. I don't think we need to be splitting the atom right now. Oh, there's some some of those medical plants over here. The heel root. I I'd love to get all of this, but it, that ain't gonna happen. Fitz won't even get out of bed. I mean, he'll get out of bed just long enough to eat and give Sam something to eat, but I think we're going to have to pass on the uranium for right now. We're just going to have to let that one slide. Maybe if the boom rat wants to get over there and, and get the uranium, that'd be fine. Oh, hang on, hang on. Sam's up. Sam's up. Sam's awake. Sam's, Sam's doing things. W what are you doing, Sam? What are you doing? Um, okay, Colonus needs treatment. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Really? What happened to your rifle? Sam, I, I gave you a rifle. That's like totally a thing that I gave you. Where, where's your gear? Oh, have you dropped your rifle at some point? Apparently you've dropped your rifle at some point. Well, that was silly. It was probably during the bear attack, truth be told. But, um, oh, oh God, now what? Now what? Uh, what's your deal, Sam? Go back to bed. Just go back to bed, okay? Oh, you've been cured of the food poisoning. That's a plus. But, um, you know, quite a bit of blood loss on, on your end. Can I turn self-tending on for you? No, you're just so not a doctor, are you? All right, well, Fitz, can you help Fitz? Because if we can get, this is just back and forth. Now you've got to help Fitz, so Fitz can help you. Yes, get something to eat. That might help with the blood loss. I, I don't know. Oh, God, what, what are we going to do? The colony is collapsing. There, are, there's just corpses still here. That's her. That's Sam's mother's corpse that she has to pass by every day because we can't even get her buried at this point. Um, can we, Sam? Can you prioritize burying your mother? Uh, hauling Haxton? No, probably don't consume Haxton. Uh, don't consume Haxton. How about the grave? Can we do anything with that? No. I'm kind of hoping you guys will bury Sam's mother at some point, but. Not today, apparently. Sam's decided it's more important to be cooking. Well, Fitz is back up and um, not really sure what he's doing. Are you getting medical supplies? Okay, good. Good, yeah, totally, totally do that. Whatever is going to get you too healthy, I encourage you to do. There's blood all over Sam. She just has catastrophic blood loss every time she gets out of bed. Go back to bed. Except Fitz needs to stay out of bed. Somebody needs to be up. Um, okay, you did 31% of your malaria has been cured, I believe is basically what that said. So good, good, I encourage that. Sam, how's your health? Still with the severe blood loss, that can't be good. Is there anything we can do about that? Can I, can I operate on you? Um, probably don't install a peg leg, as amusing as that might be. That would be really fun. Really, really fun, but probably don't go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, it's back to bed. Everyone's going back to bed. Okay, that that's fair. You're all horribly, horribly injured. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Sam's blood loss has gone from severe to moderate, so that's got to be better than severe. Unfortunately, Sam has become a little bit obsessed with cooking right now. She's just gone back and forth cooking things, so um, whatever bills are left in here, let's just go ahead and cancel that for right now. Just go ahead and, and don't cook anything. We're good. I've, I see meals all over the place. Maybe we could focus on burying our dead. Huh? Maybe we could focus on that. Uh, like, Sam, I, is, there, is there any way I can... I don't want you to strip your mother. I don't want you to haul your mother. Not off to the garbage dump, anyway. And definitely don't eat your mother. Uh, is the grave not done? I know it contains nothing. I want, I want somebody to put... Haxton in the grave, and P.S. Dig out this other grave. Uh, yes, Sam, can you prioritize working on that grave, please? Yeah, you're obsessed with food now. You're obsessed with food. I, uh, oh, unless you were you taking food to Fitz, because you should probably do that. He hasn't gotten out of bed in a day. Uh, Fitz, how are you doing right now? Uh, minor malaria. Well, that that almost sounds fun. That almost sounds something you should celebrate. Just minor malaria, no biggie. Uh, Sam, again, how's your blood loss? 
still moderate. Okay, that's fine. Um, you've dug the grave. You don't really seem inclined to do anything with your mother in terms of, you know, burying her, putting her away. And then there's Robot. Somebody's got to go down and get Robot's corpse if he hasn't... She. Sorry, Robot. If it, Oh, there's a gun. Uh, get, go get the gun. Hang on. Forget that. Get the gun. Uh, well, no, don't forget Robot. I mean, do... To bury robot, I I allow you to bury robot. It's totally cool, uh, but yeah, probably. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you eating your mother? You're butchering your mother. Sam is butchering her mother. I I guess I kind of allowed that. I mean, I didn't say you couldn't do it. You've you've butchered your mother, and and you've stored her in the walk-in cooler. You're probably gonna go do that with robot now, aren't you? You're, you're going to be a little upset about this later when you find you're eating your mother's steak. You, that, that's probably going to be an issue. Now you're probably going after Robot. Yeah, you are. Um, how about how about no? Actually, how about we don't eat Robot, but do get that gun. Do, do get that gun, please. Uh, go ahead and please equip that. Thank you. Okay, so, um, well, didn't really need the graves then. Haxton's been butchered. Fitz, are you... Are you ever planning to get out of bed? I'm seeing kind of a, a Haxton issue with you. Oh, you're up. Okay, super. What, what's your plan for the day? What, how do you see your day going here? Um, are you going to do anything? Are you going to get some medicine? Okay, fair enough. That's good. That's good. Well, I say walk-in cooler. The, the furnaces or the power generator thing is out of stuff. I mean, it's out of wood. Uh, Sam, can you yeah prioritize refueling that, please? Because otherwise, I mean, we have the wind turbine, though. I don't know. Yeah, no, see, it's not producing enough power for this, though. That little lightning bolt has got to mean there's not enough power going to the walk-in cooler, which means all of this meat is going to spoil, including Haxton. So if we could prioritize getting that fired up, that'd be super. I would really appreciate that. And how do I... I don't really understand how to make people bury people. That doesn't seem to be an option. I mean, it should be, but it doesn't appear to be. Apparently, butchering your only living relative who is now dead and then storing them in a walk-in cooler that's rapidly increasing in temperature was the wisest move you could think of, Sam. Are you still bleeding, by the way? Um, and if so, how much? Moderate blood loss still. Okay, cool. Um, with the moderate blood loss, do you think that's enough for you to start harvesting potatoes? Because these are ready to go. Ready to go. So, um, how about... How about we started harvesting things? Actually, can I do that as a whole zone? Can I just make people harvest things as a zone? Mm, I don't immediately see that, but all of these, can I do that? Potato, plant the potato, sowing. Yeah, they, uh, they will still harvest. Okay, do I have to do it one at a time? That doesn't seem right. But anyway, go ahead and start doing that. I'll, I'll figure out how to group this later. It's no great no great thing on my end to just have to do a few of these. But yes, yeah, somebody get on to harvesting when all of your other issues have been dealt with. I don't want the potatoes to go bad. I assume if we don't harvest them in some sort of reasonable period of time, they'll go bad. Oh, and the corn's ready too. Oh, guys, get some corn. I know, I know we have, we, we've had a rough few days here in the colony, but the corn is ready for harvest. Oh, we're going to have corn and potatoes. That's, with a little slice of Haxton steak, that's going to be a fantastic meal. Just changing a few priorities here. I think part of the problem with Sam is that she had cooking as her highest priority, which is why she got so obsessed with it. So we'll put that back to three. I've got Fitz on Dr. One Bulk Goods Trader. Okay, a trader. Yeah, let's actually go. Oh, hi, guys. Now, are you the guys I should kidnap and force to love me? I honestly don't think we're equipped to do that right now. We've got way too much going on, and I don't really know that we have much to... Uh, Oh, you know what? Just if anyone thinks they want to go get that uranium, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Um, I don't know why. Is that what is that steel slag? We don't really need that. Uh, go, but give me back to Sam, please. Sam, what are you doing? What actually are you doing right at this exact moment? Um, you are. What are you doing? What, what's your deal? No, don't drop the revolver. Don't do that. Are you fixing? Oh, you're fixing things. Okay. Yeah, you're fixing all the damage from the bear. That's fair. 
that's fair. Um, I would prefer you did other things. So let me go back to the priorities list. So where is, is that construction that you're doing? Is that uh, fixing damage to broken down buildings? Okay, why don't you, you know what, that's fine because we need to build some stuff eventually. You know what, that's all fine, that's fine. You, oh, go to a medical bed. So I can actually prioritize you being a patient. That's odd. All right, well, there you go. So Sam, um, uh, please don't say that's your mother you're eating. Please, God, don't say that's your mother you're eating. And remind me, Sam, you have no medical skill, do you? Uh, like zero. Yeah, medical zero. Not only zero, but like beyond zero. You just can't even understand what a Band-Aid is. Now what you doing? Oh, you're refueling the lamp. Okay, that's, that's all valuable stuff. Did you get around to the generator? Yeah, you did. You totally did. Okay, good. Well, at least the... The Haxton stakes will be kept nice and chill. Oh, somebody had said um, I might want to bring this down a couple of notches here in the cooler. Um, maybe not. Yeah, bring it down a little bit more. A little, little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, a little more. More. Oh, I just did that way too much. I was just clicking randomly. Reset it. Okay, now bring it down and bring it down. There we go. So it's a total freezer now. It's one degree C, which I think is like 314 or negative seven in Fahrenheit or something like that. But I don't know. But it's darn cold in there. It's super, super cold in there right now. I think one degree C is should be freezing. That should be freezing temperature. So or at least darn close to. So Sam, you got a lot going on right now. Are you basically feeling better? Oh, yeah, you're down to minor blood loss. Darn, you, you got a scar in your left eye, but apart from that, you've survived the bear attack reasonably well. Actually, all things considered, reasonably well. And you're saying you need warm clothes. Hmm. Okay. Can we do anything with that in our tailor bench? Is there Because we've got all that human skin. And I think we probably just generated more when you butchered your mother. Uh, not a bowler hat anymore. What, what the heck is a toque? I have no idea what a toque is. Make a parka. Yeah, make, make a parka. Uh, that sounds like that might help. Oh, make a duster. It'll go with your bowler hat. Yeah, yeah, you'll have a bowler hat and a duster made of human skin. Oh, boy, does that just sound like a horror movie in the making. Uh, Fitz, are you ever going to get out of bed? Please say yes. It's only minor malaria, Fitz. I feel you could do a little better around here. I mean, you actively joined the colony. Maybe you just want to go ahead and jump right in. Yeah, and unfortunately, with the whole potato and corn thing, Fitz is the only one who can plant, or uh, cut plants. So, first of all, let me prioritize that with you. And actually, let's make that a number two priority. Um, he's terrible at it, but he's the only other person who can do it. Sam can't do it at all, and I'm not counting on the boom rat. Uh, Sam, you seem to have just taken... Oh, you're taking a nap. Okay, that's that's fair, actually. You did quite a lot today. Let's speed it through and see if anyone wants to wake up and get this colony back to a sense of normalcy. Um, this guy moved in. Uh, a, a female archer. I, I don't know who you are. Are you stealing from me? Because I, I technically have a prison now. I, I, I actually have a prison. It's four prisoners. I checked the little box. So I don't I don't necessarily want to shoot you and imprison you until you love me, but but I'm not opposed to it. Just after the bear, oh, see, oh, no, wait a minute, wait, no, 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 hang on, hang on. You have a lot of friends. You have a lot of friends who are probably going to get pretty fussy. Why do you have a question mark over your head? What What's your deal? Um, well, you have low expectations. Well, you're in the right colony for that, let me tell you. You talked about cowboys. And you said something about wearing bowler hats. Well, funny you should mention that. Our lead colonist, Sam, has a bowler hat made of human skin. And she's about to make a coat out of her mother. So you may have something in common with Sam. Ah, Fitz is up actually botching the harvest. But at least he's in there with a fighting chance. Sam's getting a snack. And I'd like to see what, what her plan is for the day. Is it making a coat out of your mother's skin? Maybe. That seems like the trading folks have just come in to have snacks at my table. Um, that's, that's basically okay. So long as you're not going to attack me, I cannot deal with another attack right now. Oh, we, we found some corn. We've got corn. 
Yes, absolutely. Not refrigerated. Well, somebody refrigerate that. Sam, prioritize hauling it, I guess? Yeah, go, go prioritize putting that somewhere. Hauling means putting it where it belongs, right? Not just throwing it in the trash. Yeah, okay, you're going to put it in the walk-in freezer. Okay, great, good. That's a very valuable thing we do. Um, I actually think we need a bigger walk-in freezer now. Or, or I need to zone this out for food. Just, just food. Actually, what you guys can do is get rid of, of these bits of rock that are just hanging out in here. I know I'm throwing a lot on your plate and you're both still injured and sick, but we do... Fitz, you're just playing horseshoes. Fitz, Fitz, Fitz. Anyone want to get Robot's body? Robot, how, how you doing down here? Are, are you... Is it like, Fitz, do you want to do a thing? Well, don't strip Robot. That seems a little excessive. Um, why, why do you say you're forbidden? Okay. If I allow that, will you then bury it and not eat Robot? Sure. You know what? Haul Robot. Let's see if you put him in a grave. Her. Sorry, Robot. Sorry. Sorry. You're, you're kind of gender neutral. Um, trading colony just killed a dog for no readily explainable reason. That wasn't very nice, guys. That wasn't very nice at all. I don't like you guys. Why don't you go away? Why don't you go caravan off somewhere? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, that's Sam. Never mind. Sam, what are you doing? What, what are you actually doing? Hauling? Oh, you're hauling that that those chunks of stuff that I told you to haul. Um, where's? Okay, Fitz has robot. Are you going to bury robot? Oh, hang on, hang on. There's the rifle. There's the rifle. Sam, get your rifle back. Yeah, you're you're good with that rifle. Okay, Fitz, are you going to bury robot? Or are you going to butcher robot? I will be very interested to see what your plan is. Hauling to grave. Okay, good. Well, sorry, Haxton. Now now I understand the mechanic. We, we probably could have buried you a long time ago and not butchered and eaten you and worn your skin as clothing. So um, Fitz is going to bury robot. And we'll, we'll just kind of pretend the other grave is for Haxton. You know what? Keep the other grave open. It's going to come up at some point. Fitz still has malaria, and Sam's still suffering from blood loss. It, it'll happen. It's going to happen. And right on to harvesting the potatoes. Good man, Fitz. Sam, you're right on to doing whatever it is you're doing. How's your blood loss? Still minor. Uh, Fitz, how's your malaria? Still minor. Great. You know what? Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Colony, back to normal, as far as I can see. There's still blood all over the floor, but everything's basically not terrible right at this exact second. So that is probably an excellent place to leave it on RimWorld for now, while nobody else is dead. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.